Good morning, honorable members of the House of Representatives, Secretariat officials, House resource persons, invited guests, members of the media, and our viewers, mga kababayan online. Welcome to the second hearing on the motto proprio inquiry on the COA report regarding the alleged overpriced medical and health equipment procured by DOH for the COVID-19 response. We thank the House members and our resource persons who attended our first hearing for their active participation. Most especially, Health Secretary Francisco Duque, Secretary Vince Dison, COA Chairman Michael Aguinaldo, DB, D, PSDBM Undersecretary Lloyd Lau, the, uh, former Deputy uh, Dep Deputy Speaker, Deputy Ombudsman Warren Young, PDEA Director Wilkins Villanueva, and other public officials. Right now, let me make it clear that I am a proud Filipino and as a duly elected lawmaker of the Republic of the Philippines and chairman of the House Blue Ribbon Committee, it is my mandate to investigate public officials involved in corruption, wrongdoing, and illegal activities. This is the job bestowed upon me by the Constitution and the House of Representatives led by our Honorable Speaker, Lord Alan Velasco. And this job must be done swiftly, expeditiously, without any fanfare, not for media mileage, and never in aid of election or re-election. Trabaho lang po. Interestingly, in February of this year, I was accused to be anti-Duterte for granting the Lopez family owners of ABS-CBM a platform in this committee in our investigation on the BS loans obtained by the Lopez Group from the DBP. Development Bank of the Philippines. I was lambasted on social media by DDS supporters. Ironically now, I am being lambasted again in social media, this time by those against our president and the government for apparently siding with the president, President Duterte in the alleged overpricing of medical and health equipment procured by the DOH. First of all, the alleged absence of overpricing did not come from me, but it came from the chairman of the Commission on Audit himself, Michael Aguinaldo. This was even admitted in the Senate last hearing where the chairman of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee himself admitted that there was no evidence of overpricing. And I quote him directly, Payag na po ako, Mr. President, walang overpricing. Pero my fraud, waste, and abuse. End quote. Further, as a citizen of the Republic of the Philippines and elected lawmaker of Congress and chairman of the House Blue Ribbon Committee, I am independent from all politics. I am for the people. I am pro-Filipino. Di po ako pro-anti-government. This is the essence of Philippine democracy, where all sides are allowed to speak. And in doing so, we will only speak on the topic at hand. Hindi naman namin kayo liligaw. Because if public officials do that, then they obviously have a political agenda. Iba po ang storya sa Senado. In the Senate, a total of seven hearings have been held by the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee on this. More than 50 hours have been spent on the same subject. Paikot-ikot na lang po ang usapan. Worse, the topic has reached even the issue of drugs, something that clearly is not related to the issue at hand. If there is something obvious about our president, it is his strong stand against drugs. And I, can, I personally took offense on allegations associating our commander-in-chief with drugs. We all know very well that what is happening at the Senate is what usually is done before the next presidential elections. And I dare say that in the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee hearings, we see and hear at least four potential presidential or vice presidential candidates who savor every minute they can get from free TV coverage and publicity. Tulad nga ng sabi nila, ito po ay nagiging aid of election, not in aid of legislation. We have seen this before. The Senate Blue Ribbon Committee holds highly publicized hearing six to eight months before the presidential elections. It is like clockwork to topple the frontliner in the next elections. In 2010, 
In 2010, Senator Manny Villar was the frontliner. And they did this uh, hearing with the alleged double insertion of the C5 extension. Then again in 2016, the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee also did this to former Vice President Jojo Binay for his alleged agenda in Batangas. Now they are doing it again with the alleged overpriced equipment purchased for Farmali Pharmaceutical. Nadinig na po natin ang istorya na to. Let us not, not waste the Filipinos, Filipino people's time. Let us not distract our cabinet officials from the true task at hand. And that is to continue fighting the virus. Let us not waste taxpayers' money by holding more hearings. Let us not make use of these hearings to further political ambition. Let us finish the discussions as soon as we have clarity on the subject. As chairman of the Blue Ribbon Committee, let me announce that this committee shall lead by example and finish this matter by today or the latest Friday, even it means, if it means extending until nighttime. Wala pong pahinga para lang tapusin ito. And when it is clear that corruption was present or not present, the House Blue Ribbon Committee shall rest its case and end the hearing. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy na. On that note, let us begin today's hearing. Let us be all reminded to remain on Apikatan so we can proceed and focus on our real job, and that is to find and implement ways to defeat COVID-19. Thank you very much and magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat.